What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the last Vintage Cube draft. The uh, It's 10.47 a.m. The Vintage Cube queue closes at 11 a.m. So I don't imagine we'll be finished in the next 13 minutes. I am going to take Grim Monolith. Oh, Library? We'll just take Library, right? Library or Grim Monolith? I ain't taking Opposition first. This card probably tables. No one's got respect for Opposition. Library or Monty? Monty or Library? All right, you guys are saying library? I'm game. All right, what do we got here? Time Spiral. Ashen Rider. Huh. I kind of want to reanimate a little bit. I haven't reanimated yet. I like Ashen Rider. A spiral resets the library. Uh, you can get a Progenitus with a Green Sun Zenith for sure. I'm going to take Ashen Rider. <coughs> It's good with sneak attack, it's good with through the breach, it's good with all the things. <coughs> um, oh, Goblet Shrine. Masacre Worm. Do we just double ride? We got Murderous Rider and Ashen Rider. We just take Rider.deck. It's a Murderous Rider. We can also take Godless Shrine. What the hell is Alice's Restaurant? <laughs> what is that? I think it could be Godless Shrine here. I like a Godless Shrine. Oh, look. We're doing the sideboard draft again. We're put all the cards on the sideboard. That's my favorite. <coughs> it's a murderous <laughs> You never gone to Alice's restaurant? I have no idea what you guys are saying right now. Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I hate Bizarre Baghdad. Don't even mention it. I do like Skyclave Apparition. Sphinx of the Steel Wind also not bad. I'm going to take the Apparition. This pack is pretty meh. I'm going to try to draft cards that we we not we don't draft. This is the last one. We're just going to have some fun with it. Oh, shambling vent. Not to be thief of sanity, pretty good too. Hmm. I bet thief of sanity comes back. I'm gonna take shambling vent. We'll stick with the black white so far. Well, Liliana, I usually don't like Liliana, but in an, in a reanimate deck where we're trying to discard things, Liliana is choice.
Archangel Avison, Chupacabra, or Celestial Colonnade. I kind of just like Chupacabra here. I don't think we're necessarily blue. I'm going to put him in the main deck, though, not on the sideboard. So, you know, that's cool. Kaya seems nice. I like Duress. Uh, uh, yeah, let's take Kaya. Uh, Oblivion Ring seems good. Wall of Omens could be good. Corpse Dance. Oh, yeah, let's take Corpse Dance. That does what we wanted to do. Ophiomancer. Okay, we're just going to take a lot of three drops here. We're looking for a murderous rider. Keep the three drops coming, I guess. Wow, this is a lot. Um, okay. Take a Black Cleave Cliffs. Shh. Sure. Unforgiven. Also, I didn't have time to do the. Uh, I didn't. Well, I, we didn't have time to coordinate this stipulation. So I'm gonna do it when the next vintage cube rolls around. If that works for you, I still have your your stip over here in the queue. Also, I'm glad the uh, the Thief of Santa didn't come back, so I'm glad we... My love. And there's also Gristlebrand, which I really want. I'm going to take the Lotus. <sighs> We're not blue at all. Green doesn't do anything. It's got to be Lotus here, but fudge, man. Oh, Marsh Flats is nice. Tler Tinker is also interesting. Jeez. We're out of Tinker deck. We're just going to take Marsh Flats, especially with Godless Shrine. It's just a solid land to pick up. Oh, boy. Oh, so yeah, Lotus does seem good in the Mono 3 drop deck. That's true. First turn, Liliana, Kaya, Ophiomancer. Fudgeman is not the hero we need. I don't even know what that means. I think we're going to play Kozilek. I mean, with Corp Stamps, we actually want these guys. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one greatest pack in Vintage Cube history, Buck. Nice. I wonder what the maximum amount of power that's ever been in a pack. Three is pretty high. I actually think it might be Gonti. Cause like Might Wheel, and we also have chances to get different ones, so. Concealed Courtyard. Oh, Reanimate. Never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. it's a, right, we want the Reanimate. Uh, uh. I don't think I've seen more than three. I guess we're just taking... Actually, Dragonlord Attack is a fine discard. Like, we can take that, dude. Oh, Null Priest is great. 
That's that's like a reanimate spell. What if that pack had a soul ring in it? You know, it literally might have, and I didn't even notice it, so. Ancient Tomb? Oh, Exhum? Yeah, we're gonna we're exhuming for sure. Ancient Tomb is great, but it's the problem is like double white, double black, double black, double black, double black, double white black. Yeah, it's just like Ancient Tomb doesn't. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Exhum. Exhum is what we want. Shield is also nice. I actually think Felder Retreat's pretty good. It actually just rewards you for playing lands and putting counters on your creatures is pretty good. I'm going to take that. You're kind of meh. I'm going to take Mana Tithe. Maybe we can get him. Kozilek came back. Gristlefather did not come back. <clears throat> I'll have to send Katie a ridiculous face of myself. That should be good, right? Oh, concealed courtyard? Give it to me. I didn't even hear her come home. She got home, she dropped the dogs off at the at the groomers. Man, she's so sneaky. Did you make a face? Didn't notice. Wow. Wow. Brett, if you weren't so supportive, buddy. Hit the brakes. <laughs> it's too bad you can't ban mods. Damn it. Dug my own grave here. What's next after Vintage Give? Today I was going to do a uh, deck. Oh, dang. Did that one card we wanted not come back? I don't know where it was, but... Uh, I was going to play some... Um, oh, I like that guy. Uh, historic. I was going to play Colors Control Lake and Historic that we were going to put together. And also, oh, in Tomb? Oh, baby. No power in this pack, though. It's unfortunate, but what can you do? I want to take in Tomb. Um, and then I'm going to play some Spider Man. I've been jonesing for Spider Man like bad, but I didn't want to cut into my vintage cube time, so I'd have gotten banned for saying nonsense forever ago. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. You guys have been grandfathered into mod status. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Shambling Vent, Marsh Flats, Galda Shrine, Concealed Courtyard. And Library. <laughs> library doesn't hurt nearly as much when you have all of these fixing lands. Uh, I actually like him to Torok here. Him to Torok seems great. If we're just consistent black-white here, this is really good. So right now we have Exhum, Reanimate, Null Priest, and Corpse Dance. Okay. Is this guy a creature? Can I reanimate this guy? I don't think so. I do like Orzhov's Signet here. Orzhov's Signet seems good. I'm pretty sure we passed Batter Skull last pack, so... Yeah, we'll just take On Color Signet. This deck's looking good. Shinobi is my crypt tonight. It was so, so close, man. I like, oh, no priest got menace. Uh, underground C. Might just be Knight's Whisper. Just draw two. Seems fine. Like we don't need we don't have blue for anything. Like there's no blue cards. Um, sort of feast and famine could be fine. I think I'd rather just draw two. Oh, 
I would love it if a scrubland came around with nothing else good in the pack. Blood Chief's Thirst not bad. Um, I'm wondering if it's Terastodon. Probably not when Ashen Rider does the job, right? I also like being able to cast all of these. I think we'll take Blood Chief's Thirst. It's just nice early removal. Um, this pack is not exciting at all. I'll just take Linvala for the sideboard. She's actually been pretty decent in certain situations. Sitches, certain sitches. <clears throat> Gideon actually could be decent here. If we have Fellow Retreat and Gideon, we just like make two creatures one turn, make one creature, put Kano's on the other. No colorless control after I literally said that. Unforgiven asked me. I said I'm gonna play some colorless control and historic after this, and then I'll play some Spider-Man. I'm a Jones for Spider-Man. Come on, Dominus, get it together, buddy. Um we can also take Toxic Deluge, but we actually have some pretty decent answers. Murderous Rider, Skyclave. I'm going to take the Gideon. Bone Shredder. Other Gideon. This Gideon could be pretty good, right? Um, Bone Shredder. We already have Choops. I'll take the Gideon. Oh, I'll take Sun Titan. Sun Titan seems great in this deck. Uh, I'll take Angrath. Uh, I'm just going to take Ugin here because <clears throat> that guy's good I'm just going to hate Tendrils no one should have this card I hope I just ruined someone's last draft storm experience okay so <clears throat> We need, like, three cuts. Maybe two if we want to count the Lotus as mana, which I, I could see doing. Uh, mana Tide doesn't seem great here. That's an easy cut. Everything else I like. Guess we don't cut anything. Eh, Maelstrom Pulses. Take Mind's Desire. I don't know how Ugin wields. I don't know if we're playing Ugin, though. We do have a lot of high-end. High end. And we also don't have a ton of ways to get to Ugin. We just literally have, like, hmm, Orzhov Signet. This could be the deck. 16 lands and Lotus. Because our curve kind of stops at 4 if you don't consider us casting these. If we're, like, reanimating them or exhuming them. Excuse me. Um, that's Library, Gauntless, Concealed. Yep. Sort by color. Definitely more black. 7, 4, this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I like 5, 6 a little better. <laughs> 6 Man Eugene is not in this queue, although that is one of I love that card, actually. I could just play 17 lands and 41 cards, which might be better. We can also cut this Gideon, but I think Gideon might be actually pretty decent. The problem is we only have one creature on turn two. <laughs> we have, like, no creatures before turn three. Um, so he's not really getting a lot of value when you when you cast him. The Exile part is good. Reanimating something like Ashen Rider and then giving him, like, Lifelink or Indestructible seems... Eh, not maybe not Indestructible, but... I do like considering Lotus. I, I I don't know if I like considering Lotus mana.
Sad another swamp. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, all right, let's play it like this then. Let's see what happens. All right, last draft. I mean, we have a lot of double white, but we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white sources. So I'm not like plus Orzhov Signet, which is more than you're going to get in a two color deck normally. So, but uh, we have way more double black, double black, double black, double black, double black, double black, double black on two. Also, all of our one and two drops are black. So having, making sure we, uh, <clears throat> making sure we hit a black source on turn one, two and double on three is, is pretty important. Now we just have to wait. Last draft to Mary Jane. One more draft to kill the pain. A huge summer creeping in and out. You know, you know, you know the jam. I'm gonna pause it until we find a match. All right. <clears throat> All right. Turn one and tomb reanimate. Right. That's what we're looking for. It's a three card combo. It's not even. It's a two card combo. I just need a land to do it. I could do it on turn one with Lotus. Let's go out with a bang for the last... I'm trying. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, all right. Well. Okay. Oh, my God. I thought it was like a, like a real dickhead. This is standard beat. Let me turn off the stream. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I was like really concerned. I was like, wow, I've clearly offended this person. Oh my god. I'm going to keep this hand. <laughs> You're a real piece. I was like, oh my God, this person's very angry. <clears throat> I'm gonna add as a buddy I haven't added people as buddies enough like if you guys play me on here like or, or like if I know you guys from the stream like I should for sure add you as buddies am I whispering? I don't want him to know let's see what we can get here we're gonna exhume something boys we can't get Kozilek And I feel like the best thing we can get here is actually, like, Shieldred. But I don't even know if it's that good. It's kind of sad. Kozilek's just going to shuffle back in. Shuffle, sh I wish the Ashenard wasn't in our opening hand, but... I mean, Shieldred's still good, right? You got Gonti? We just can't... It's like the odds of us casting something exciting off of a Gonti. Plus, we can just naturally cast Gonti. I don't know. I think it's Shieldred. Look, I don't even have to take damage right now? That's wild. I 
I think Sun Titan's good too, but we didn't have anything to get back, so I feel like Shoulder's just the better choice here. <clears throat> what do they got? One, two, three, four, five mana? Six mana here? They're doing very well for themselves. I feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again. Now you got this stupid Last Dance with Mary Jane song stuck in my head. Yeah, Tom Petty's pretty alright. One, two, three, four. We also have five mana. We're so close to just casting this guy. Oh, big prowls. What is this? Oh, wow, you're doing it too. What is happening right now? I see. Yeah, actually, I definitely should have discarded Ashen Rider to this. I, I, that was a real big misplay. Okay, they have no cards in hand. No, don't like that. Alright, so we're going to take a bunch here. Four, eight, nine, ten. We're, gonna, we're almost dead, which is pretty, pretty comical. Yeah, I don't like that. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. We go to 7 here. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely discarding now. Okay, take it easy, guys. And then we do get to exile this thing. We're living the dream. Dream. Let's draw for the turn. Ophiomancer. Probably just want to kill this, to be honest. So they can activate this, we block it, we take four. Sure. Let's put the put the pressure on. Then they lose a guy, so that's okay. Alright, they got one draw step before we've reanimated successfully. More like Ufiomancer. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely blocking this guy. Because I don't want to die. They can. Oh, we just win the game. That's a concern. <laughs> got him. G -g -g got him. What? Katie's in the chat. Hello, my dear. I totally can't. <laughs> Katie messaged me and she's like, you missed my message. Oh, man. Good times. Katie, did you see us win? Because that was good times. Is Swamp Walk good? I don't know. 
I don't know. I did see you in. I'm winning it. Radiology. Are you really? Can we eat lunch after this draft? Because I'm getting a little hungry. That's a dangerous game. <laughs> oh. Well, thankfully, she's just looking at the x-rays. She's not, like, taking them. This is round one, so it'll probably be around, like, 1220-ish. Apparition eats uh, Coalition Relic, so that's pretty good. Oh, 41 versus 40. Now nah, who's smart? Oh, it's you. Oh, this hand's great, too. I'll keep this. Him to Torach. Tend to, him to Tucher. When you get some... When you do get some lunch, fine, sir. Do you consider Hungry Howie's flavored crust pizza? I actually have leftover Thai. When I got Thai last night, I ordered one pad CU and one pad Thai. And I had the pad Thai for dinner, and I couldn't even finish it. So I have a whole pad CU and a little bit of pad Thai left over for today. So it's going to be a Thai lunch, my dudes. You hear that, chat? Got the medicine this game. <laughs> oh, man. Standard beats good people. Oh, I see. Well, that's not very mature. Katie, are you still there? I think our tree has been delivered. So you might want to check the door. Take the good card. Is it strong enough for vintage? What are you saying? Null Priest of Oblivion is it strong? Yes, I think it definitely is. Uh, for two mana, you get a lifelink evasive creature, which is great against... Uh, it's great for Fallen Shinobi. It's great for uh, aggressive decks. It's just a good card. Uh, and then at six mana, you can just reanimate something, which is really... It's it's already an archetype. I, I definitely think Null Priest of Oblivion is, deserves a slot. So much so, in fact, that I already picked up my Null Priest over here somewhere I have a big stack of uh, of the of the good looking borderless cards from from Zendikar and from other sets I guess as well but yeah they look they look so good like I just can't get over how good these these versions look like with the board with the borderless like every card that I can replace in my cube, I'm definitely going to. I hate foils, so I'm just really grateful that these oh, these come in non-foil. You took the Gaunty. Interesting. Does he want me to hit that? Or does he? Let's hit that. Let's hit that reanimate spell. Collective brutality and thirst for knowledge. Those are good. I, I, well, they're not alternate arts, really. They're just alternate frames. The art's still the same. No, I love alternate art versions as long as they are not foil. And as long as they're recognizable. Bizarre of ba Oh, I think they're reanimating as well. Interesting. Mm 
Well, I got Murderous Rider. Massacorum and Regisaur and Emrakul, the promised end. Reanimate. Dang it. Oh, that's fantastic here. Unsub. <laughs> oh. Is that... Is this car good? <laughs> oh, good lord. Well, I'm gonna eat your graveyard, I think. Does it resolve? Let's exile a massacre worm. And these two do 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 do. All right, all right, we have a good time. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> they, they can get back Red Registrar, but I, I kept Murderous Rider, so we can just kill it if they do that. And we can also wait till they discard to kill it, too, because that just feels good. Oh, you friggin' biscuit. That's really, that's just, that's just gross. You just, no one likes what you're doing right now. Well, that's a thing. I'm just gonna pass. End of turn, like we can kill this guy with a Gonti. We have 17 lands. We didn't cut a land. I'm ready for Vintage Cube to come back now. It's not even gone yet. I'm not scared of the dawn. <laughs> Playcrafter goes my entire sideboard playing against you. Well, you can reanimate it again, so that's good. Coalition Relic. land. Blood Chief's Thirst. Okie dokie. Well, he only has one card in hand, so that's good. It's... <laughs> You're being gross. Please stop. Don't say side deck. Oh, there it is. That's the ticket. Now we're gonna Gaunti. Living death? Oh, jeez. Well, we're definitely taking that. I don't know if it's good, but it could be great at some point. Oh, man. We can get Kaya back with Sun Titan, which is pretty nice. Interesting. Do we have a way to discard that? Not good, not good. We can just play this with no land follow-up, which is kind of awkward, right? Why can't we exhume together? The couple that exhumes together. And we'll just tag with these these gents. Yeah, I mean we're just gonna get retreat down because we have nothing else to do that that affects the board, but I do wish I had a land to follow up with. Like playing Fell Retreat and having no land follow up is just kinda sad. Hold on. 
Oh, that guy? Man, please. I'm actually going to give, uh, I'm going to put counters on my guys. Or, no, we'll create a cat here. If they want to double block one, that's fine. What up, always on top? Chicken nuggets is like my family. Of the duck. Mm. Oh, there it is. Take my life link. Cut my life link into pieces. Mike B's at work. God. You guys are insatiable. Oh. Oh, isn't that fancy? Oh, you fancy. They have no cards in hand? Oh, well, Corpse Dance gets back Kaya. <laughs> see for recounts in games one and two. I'll see you in court. Boom, 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 boom. Our deck seems sweet, right? Gotta keep annihilating. Hey, don't pay no mind. Keep annihilating all the time. Come out and play. That's an offspring song. I don't know if you guys knew that. Well, oh. I'm glad they don't have living death, I guess. They could reanimate Battlesphere. Still in the game. Oh, no, they can't. They're at seven. Double Ancestral? Are they going to snap it back? Those were definitely the exact lyrics. <laughs> Nailed it. Man, that was good times. And we got to, and we got to play a... Solid gentleman from the block, like Jenny from the block. Twenty two. All right. I'm looking at lug. Oh, yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get to play this and draw on the same turn. Nice. If you're on the rain, you know will be doing any time. Hey, 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 come on and play. We're playing Jerp. Okay. Oh, good games, nerd. Unbelievable. Yeah, we'll keep it. I had to go downstairs. Oh, wow. Turn one relic. That's amazing. Turn one relic. That's... That's really something.
Well, that's gonna... Okay. Well, that's a thing. A concealed courtyard. You can just discard a land here. That ain't a big deal. Oh, here we go. Got a case. Somebody's got a case of the kudas. I like that when we discard this a cleanup step, they can't actually use relic on our turn. They have to use it on their turn, so they don't get two activations out of it. I see. All right. This is six mana. All right. Uh, resolves. Draw a card. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Do 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 do. I will stand by the fiend taking Gontain, allowing you to hit me, though. Okay. That's good. I don't want you to have many regrets. What's it gonna be? See, now there's a storm count, and I don't have any storm cards. Oh, wait, I do have one in my sideboard, don't I? I got this Mind's Desire and Tendrils and Bargain. Man, we could just play Storm. Keep Lotus? Alright, well. Three cards in hand. I kind of like playing Swamp. Oh no, here. Oh no, we're gonna. Oh no, we're doing it right now. You ready? So one, two, three, four, five. I wish. <laughs> oh man. So we're not gonna be able to draw this turn, and we're gonna have to lose a bunch of things. But I kinda like I kinda like playing Liliana, sacking Kite Sail Freebooter, uh getting Kaya back, playing Kaya, and exiling Lotus. Like that seems good. Triple black. Big Lils. I mean, if they're playing Mana Leak, they're cracking their Lotus. So that's kind of fine. Beat it, beat Boop. 
Get it out of here. This is why I don't play Lotus unless you're actually going to use it. There's no reason that dude should be on the board. Who's that a lady? These two ladies. Okay. I'll exit Exile Plains. They might sack it to sack Relic, which is actually just fine. Alright. Oh, they're just going to fence her. Fence her. Fence her, fence her, fence her. Fence her their own Relic. What? That doesn't seem right. What? Why wouldn't you bounce like a land? Wait, what? Why? What's happening right now? I'm very confused. Okay. I mean, this is very good. They happen to have Venser there, sure. Okay. Oh yeah, not turning library on it seems uh seem a good, huh? They still have two cards. So what can we do here? You can on discard Ashen Rhino, it's pretty easy, but they're just gonna make us lose it. Play Gideon. Plus it. I think we just play Mel Priest here to block. Yeah, I think we have to accept the fact that library is off right now. Well, Gideon doesn't protect Liliana, that's the problem. Null Priest protects Liliana. And we have to accept the fact that, like, we're unlikely to, uh... Fascinating. We're unlikely to be able to, like, reanimate anything right now. Because of Relic on board. Yeah, okay. One second. Okay. Come in, I gotta go. I mean, if it comes down to sacrificing trading Null Priest for Venser, yeah, we're 100% doing that. I definitely think Liliana is better for us than for them. I'd rather draw Sun Titan here. Alright, no cards to discard, and uh, this is just fine. Just fine. Trigger Mage, alright. 
having an active Liliana when we have no cards in our hand, we can pretty much cast anything we draw other than Sun Titan and Kozilek. Like, I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, they're losing the flip, too? They also have onboard Mana Crypt that could just wreck them? Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, we just get to kill it, though. Yeah, that's that's fine. Oh! 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 That was a good draw. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. This is the dream. Well, because they, they either play it or we discard it, right? So, either way, one of them makes Liliana go down to and we have one less access to a land. The other one... Ah, oh, dang it. And we're definitely going to 7 them when they have Mana Crypt out. They have two flips. Oh, they have one flip. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Thief of Sanity. Well, if you're holding a land, they only had one card at any given point, right? When we activated Liliana, they discarded nothing. Then they drew Frost Titan. Like, if they held a land at any point, like, we're just going to make them discard that the turn before. Like, it, it doesn't work out so that they have a land and a Frost Titan. Okay, well... Good luck with your hits. I mean, they have six mana. It's a good amount. <laughs> Ophiomancer and Plane, so it was better than an Ophiomancer. Taking too long. Must be good choices. <sighs> Sweaty Pepe. I mean, they're, they're dead to one mana crypt flip, and we have two planeswalkers and a creature to deal with, so I'm okay with. Is it murder? Hmm, four mana. Gonti? Urza. Their own Urza. Interesting. Alright. Well, we can make them sack one of these. Which is probably correct. If they sack Thief, they keep both these guys up. They have to block one. They could literally just... They could also just die to Mana Crypt next turn. We also don't need to play this land. We can hold it. Maybe one day we'll get to Library of Alexandria. Did you say they're bringing the corset cube back? Yeah, I did. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll probably do it because it's just a cube. Oh, they're taking our corpse dance. That's actually pretty good. Because now they can sack the frost titan. Ew, gross. Yeah, this is actually very good. Okay. 
Well, we'll make a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, we're still at 20 and they have Mana Crypt, so... I mean, this could all be for nothing. <laughs> and we'll see. Uh, oh, they won the flip. They're on borrowed time, my man. Yeah, actually, I think that's true. I think I played the core set last time, and it was actually just fine. So we'll see. I don't have a problem with it at all. It's a nice change of pace. Gideon can still recruit soldiers while lying down. Yeah, he's tired, but, you know, he gets the other people to do work for him, you know? Nice. That's just fine. Can you hit with Thief here? I don't think... Oh, this is aggressive. I would have definitely done this pre-Urza just to see what we hit. But... Okay. Okie dokie. All right, well, we hit, they hit two lands here, so they might have just insta-taken a spell or taken one of the, oh, we just won the game. Ooh, fell at our retreat. Another good reason to have held, held this godless shrine. I'm getting chilly in here, man. Got to close this window. What does Linval do? It's just our Urza. I kind of like Mana Tithe. Is that weird? Linvala does block Thief, but I don't, I'm not super worried about that. Like, we have Blood Chief's Thirst, Ravenous Chupacabra, Liliana, Murderous Rider. We got lots of like, Skyclave Apparition. After this, I'm going to go uh, run to the restroom real quick. Really got to pee. I think it's because it's cold in here. I'm also going to shut the window. So, give me like two seconds. I don't want to play 41 for sure. Let's take out Ophiomancer, I think. Uh, keep? <laughs> snap? Snap keep? Alright. <laughs> Jazz is stupid. Just play the right notes. Well, we got a lot of lands here. We're playing Lotus this time against our, our against our own rule because I don't want to have to discard, and I think just having Lotus on board is better than discarding here. That's pretty good. I have a Tezzeret, or I have a I have a Blood Chief's Thirst, so I'm not super concerned with it. Boy, they're really. So, we can go land, signet, draw a card, blood chiefs. Oh, we can also murderous rider, can't we? I think murderous rider is probably better than blood chiefs thirst, though, so. Let's draw. I kind of like fell our retreat. I'm definitely killing this thing, though. Next turn, we can actually fill our retreat and... I mean, I still think that's good. We still have library turned on. Like, we can fell our... We can go... Yeah, we can just play land, fell archer, keep marsh flats. We've already drawn three cards off library. 
I don't feel like we're very far behind either. So. Oh, Dark Ritual. Seems good. Maybe we have Murderous Riders, so I'm not super concerned with that either, unfortunately. Um, this. Land. Draw. And dead. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep, this is pretty good. <laughs> it's, I have four mana now and two cards. Oh Jesus! I think we're just wait. I think we're just, we're just through the through the looking glass at this point. They're probably gonna Venser this, which will just draw in response. I think this is fine. If if like Venser is what they have, that's okay. Take a doo doo, make it a guy. Gonna crack land and make another guy. Cats all day, cats all night. Turn tap that grim monolith. Making some cats. Library is dumb. Can't you just draw the right cards? Make another kitty cat. Let's get Galdish Shrine. Uh, nope, I'm good. Make another kitty cat. Library's actually very smart. It's full of knowledge. Um, I'm just gonna play Shambling Vent here. Make another kitty cat. Draw a card. Oh, I kind of like that. Isn't that cute? Keep up man type. Get in there with two kitty cats. I don't sound like that. Don't you, though? Don't you? I bet you think that you sound just like that. Your son counters bell. They got three cards. They haven't played anything. I don't know what's going on here. Cryptic command? Wow, that's wild. I'm going to tithe it because it forces you to use your, your monolith, so... <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. I mean, this is definitely worth one card to deny them the... The mythic, the grim monolith mana. This is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage on board. That's pretty good. Jazz is stupid. Just play the right notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven lands out of our deck, only six left. So only like twenty-five percent. Oh, that's she old red. We've also drawn like a million cards. So, you know. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have eight mana this turn. We're real close to entombing or uh, into just casting Kozilek. It's pretty good. What do you do? Our deck seems sweet. I like this deck. I have enjoyed my interactions with it. We're a little bit reanimator, a little bit. Planeswalker mid-range, a little bit black-white disruption. Got a lot going on. Treachery batter skull. Eh, that's pretty good. I assume they still have a Venser, which is just fine. All these guys have Vigilance anyway? Dang. I 
Oh yeah, the tide definitely hurt. Like we're just denied them three mana, and like they have to either spend the turn untapping it to get to a fifth land, a fifth mana, or just leave it tapped. Like both of these cost five, so if they just like cryptic commanded, we did nothing. They could easily play one of these, and then untap. Uh, yeah, like if we didn't counter cryptic command, they could have literally played treachery, untap all their land, play batter skull. Like that's a significant difference. Yeah, that Tithe was beautifully played. Yep, that seems fine. <laughs> Felon Our Retreat is the card that is perfectly made for you 50% of the time. Well, I guess I got something to do with all these these lands. I don't even want to entomb Ashen Rider here because I kind of just want to draw it. Because I think that's fine. Oh, Jesus. Do they have a family, you think? One, two, three, activate. Then we have one, two, three. So we can actually go Liliana... Oh, this is just game. They're just dead, right? Okay. <laughs> well, that'll do, pig. Wow, that'll do. All right. Okay. Yeah, our deck is sweet. I mean, even if we lose this last round, like... I'm okay with it. This is the last. This is a solid last hurrah. I'll keep it. A Lotus or any land here is very, very good. We can either play Gideon or him to Torok. Obviously a... Uh, concealed Courtyard would be nice. We're halfway in between the main and the begin combat. Also known as the Ainby. Okay. Even if we don't play those, we can still play Mel Priest. Seems fine. I'm on my way. Oh. I see. This is how you're going to be. I like when they play the mocks first. Oh, wow. Okay, well, three mana seems decent. Vryn Wingmare. Tonight, tonight. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, I want Skyclave Apparition so I can just get rid of this guy. You ever start writing what you think is going to be a little five-page thing, and then suddenly it's 20 pages long, and it's been three days, and why are all my plants dead? No. No. Uh, I don't think so. Well, they got to get in there, right? So if I draw black, we can him to talk them, and then we're just the superior him, him situation. Come on, black mana, black mana, black mana, black mana, blah, 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 blah. I see. Well, Night's Whisper's still good here. And still no black mana. Okay. <laughs> this is how you're going to be? Okay. <laughs> okay. Chris Furterer just made this. Nifty Chris just made this for me. <laughs> okay. Well, that's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> That's the most... Holy Jesus. I'm dead. 
Okay, that's good, but we can easily Murderous Rider that. Again, if we draw black mana. Oh, Frank Stonk's going up. Nice. That seems good. Oh my god, Chris, dude. I love it so much. Oh god. Black Source. Are you serious with this? This is wild, man. We discard our two double white cards. Have drawn two double black cards. This is wild, dude. That's, I, I'm like, fuck, I need to find a place to use this. I'm like, God, do I make it my, do I make it my cover photo? Where do I put this guy? This is quality. They're attacking face again? You let Kaya survive? Oh, you're just going to do that. Got it, got it. Yep, now they're going to tap down our black source, and it's all just working out so perfectly. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Can't activate that thing. I'm on my way. Okay, so they're just going to play mono two drops now while keeping Rashad and Port up? That seems good. Jitte. Seems good. I think we're just dead here. Yeah, this is this hitting one black is pretty brutal when they just kill our actual... Sure. Yep. It's very good. Very good. Um, okay, so, I think we can get rid of the Corpse Dance and the Kozilek, bring in these two. Oh, actually, let's bring an Eidolon, too. That guy seems great here. I kind of like Linvala, but, eh, I think Lyra's probably just fine. I could see Tithe being good here. To reanimate, zoom him. Everything else seems like our deck seems good. I don't think I'm getting black blade, I guess. Yeah, I like Linvala too, but I, I just don't think we have the room, really. Uh, Snapkeep. <laughs> Fucking dying over this Bronx, man. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like the best thing, it's like the best thing you've ever done, Christopher. I mean, they did go, like, I do keep all my memes. Yeah, if you guys make me memes, I definitely keep them. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, of course him to Torok. Of course. Oh, Lord. I have a Lotus. It would be cool if I drew my Lotus. <sighs> they get mocks two games in a row. We don't get Lotus once at all. Oh. Well, we got Liliana. If we hit a land. Oh, we did. I'm blessed. Get your stupid bird out of here, ba -do 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 -do. Lodestone. It would probably be too good if I was if it was an untapped land to play Lyra here, so. You know. Oh, I guess it wouldn't matter anyway, right? Because, you know. I don't foresee us plussing Liliana here. They gotta kill one or the other, that's fine. They can go face too, I guess. Land in a Liliana seems good, or Lyra seems good. Liliana. Hmm. I can play a two drop, or one drop. Ah, oh, exhausting. Oh, their own Liliana. Fascinating. Well, Liliana's definitely dead here, and we're taking five. But if we draw a land, we can play this, and if we draw any spell, we can likely play it because our deck revolves around four drops or less. So. Yep. It's about what we figured. Wow, this one Lodestone Golem is really. I mean, if this was a Linvala instead, it'd be a different game, my dudes. Okay. Thank you. Let's play this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hope you don't have a removal spell that costs less than th three. Tonight, tonight, I'm on my way. That seems fine. Oh, dang it. No attack, huh? Is that a puppy? Yeah. I hear a little dog outside. Like, I can't risk them getting counters on this guy is the problem, so. Mm. 
You got it. <laughs> Joke's on you, dummy. Come on, Sun Titan. One time. Sun Titan that we have not drawn a single time in this in this whole this whole event. One time. Sunny T. Gani T. I do like a Gani T. I do like a smuggy tea. You can't play the lands, right? You may look at it and cast that card. Okay. Let's take smuggy tea. Yeah, smug it up. Get busy smugging. Smoking. From the mask. Smoking. You guys remember mask? Unforgiven. I feel like there's a, there might be a slight delay for you. Land. That actually seems that actually could do a number on him. Still gonna loot because we could probably do better. Beginning of combat. Attack with my smuggler's copter. Do, 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 do. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no. I think we still get rid of Mana Tithe here. She definitely does cost eight, but it's still very good. I feel like if we get a shielder down, like we just win the game, right? But Mana Tithe does deny them quite a bit. Yeah, all my random spells, random spells cost less than 8 for sure, but also I don't have those in hand. I do have shoulder in hand. All I only need is one land. <sighs> yeah, alright. I don't like it. It feels real bad, but... Oh, they have, they're probably cracking. They're playing their three mana spell right now. Oh, what up, Deadly Orc? Ariok? Ariok? I'll just call. I'll just say Deadly. Oh, really? That's wild, man. I don't think so, though. That seems that seems good. You shouldn't do that, guys. You see how good Mana Tithe was there? Wild. Man, if only you didn't have your stupid lodestone golem. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Ah! <laughs> Guys. Guys. How's it gonna be? Yeah, give me my give me my signet back, you little bitch. <laughs> he was so aggressive about his signet. And let's go to game three. I do like Linvala in here. I 
I don't know, maybe in the game three we can draw our power one time and then him them one time instead of, you know, the other way around. That would be cool. I'm going to take Mana Tide off. Oh, actually, we're on the draw? It's still good. It's still good. Uh, retreat's real good. Retreat makes two twos whenever you play a land, or it puts all counters on, a counter on each of your creatures. All right, we'll take Ashen Rider out. He's a little expensive. If our hand has Entomb, I guess we still have Shieldred and Sun Titan, so that's fine. I'm gonna keep it. I think this hand's good. It's a little slow again, but we still have lots of early plays, so. Oh, and no mocks from them, so that's nice. We're just gonna top deck Lotus, play first first turn Gideon. It, it didn't happen as, as we wanted it to, but that's okay. I mean, we still have Eidolon into Ophiomancer, which is pretty good. We can also Entomb if we happen to draw Exhum. Uh, because I don't think Gideon does anything for us. Uh, it literally, we have like two creatures that come down before turn two. Eidolon and Null Priest, and if we're just dropping Gideon with no way to protect him, then it's pretty bad. He's just a Planeswalker that does nothing when he comes into play. Let me guess. Oh, two white. That's fine. Three hundred bits if I win the last one? Oh man, you're talking about Shieldred. Reanimate Shieldred. I'll take seven. Did you guys hear those noises I made? That shit was wild. I mean, they could have... They could have a thing. They could have a removal spell. They could have Vindicate here. I mean, it's still... What, are you gonna take three? Oh, they're going to take three. Oh, they didn't take three. Oh, boy. I mean, we, our hand is still very good. We have Ophiomancer to play now. Blood Chief's Thirst to play next turn. Eidolon. I mean, wins getting us a fourth land when we don't have one is still just fine. Here comes an Elspeth or something. That doesn't seem right. Wrath of God? Gaunty, sure. <laughs> Gaunty. Sheldred has, uh, it's, uh, what's it called? A swamp Walk? Six, seven, eight, nine. We're also just tagging for nine if we draw land for Blood Chief's Thirst. That's that's also bananas. Oh boy, Billy bananas. And in the future, we can discard Linvala to get back with Shouldered. That might have been better now, actually. But getting the Gonti off the board is just fine. Wow, talk about yeah. We're we're definitely in the never didn't have a driver's seat right now, my dudes.
Oh, I guess we could have gotten the Gonzi off the word of Shouldered anyway. So we could have actually plussed Pitch Linvala. But then, like, like if we... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Ravenous Chupacabra is what they hit. Yeah. Might be a little too late. <laughs> yep, it's getting worse. <laughs> They are at four. Let's exhume. Knight's Whisper, huh? Oh, yeah, it is our... Yep, it's our Chupacabra. Of course, that's what they hit. I'm tempted to just put more to the board. I really want to hit lands, though. I think we have to try to hit lands here. We don't want to fall too far behind. Yikes. Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> wow. That seems fucking good. They got a two here, though. <laughs> Is there anything we can do about that? Do they even attack? Yeah, I guess they attack. Otherwise, they're just going to lose their guy anyway, so... Land would be nice, then we can go Signet and Eidolon. I feel like we've been drawing lands terribly. Lotus? Fucking murderous rider. <sighs> they have two cards in hand. What are the odds they're anything good? This is so sad. This is, like, ridiculous that, like... We just can't hit lands. It's turn six, we've hit three lands. Like, give me a break. We're playing this now because next turn we can't play it if we don't have Eidolon down. Plus, like, they have three cards in hand, and, like, they're getting back uh, Gonti or Eidolon of their own, so it's, like, unless we win in, like, two turns, it's not going to do anything, and they have a blocker, so it's... Mostly irrelevant. Yep, that's a good one. <laughs> so irrelevant. Okay, wow, you, man, that's so, it's so amazing when people get, like, rewarded for their, like, the, the narrow situation where, like, if they don't have Jitte, this plays better, and if they have exactly Jitte, yeah, you got me, dude. Glad you're back from yesterday. Always a pleasure. Oh, good times. All right. Well, we can't write it right now, right? Yeah, it's five now. And now it's three, right? Yeah, all right, cool. So we're gonna let this die. I figure they're gonna get back Gonti. And we're still fine if we hit land, but I mean, like what are the odds of that? It's only turn eight, right? Why not play the Rider as a man? Because I want to. Because then they just attack with Chupacabra, they make it a 4 4, and then they kill it. And then they get two more counters. <laughs> like, it's pretty bad. Yep. 
Three games in a row. Thankfully, we have a Black Lotus in our deck somewhere. You wouldn't know it, but... I mean, if we draw Lotus here, I'm okay with it for sure. Six mana is nice. I mean, I think we're—I think we literally just Blood Chiefs Thirst Arganti. The sad thing is, with Jitte, even with one counter on it, Ganti becomes a five-six, which can easily block and kill Lyra, and then get two more counters. I mean, I also just take a, a regular old-fashioned land. Oh, it doesn't matter because they have Rashad and Port, so. Yep, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, this has got to be better than Idol on Idol, and just dies on the spot, so. This is a pretty sad way to, to end our four. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is turn nine. We've drawn three lands, four lands. And our 17 land Lotus deck. Sounds good. It's about par for the course. This is exactly how we deserve to go out, I imagine. Yep. They can actually hit us for five here, put us to one. Okay. Okay. Fascinating that they don't want to do that. If we hit a land, we can Blood Chief guy. It's going to be Sun Titan. That is my prediction. It's a land. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of flabbergasting that they're at two right now, and we haven't been able to just close that bridge. Um, yeah, Eidolon just doesn't do anything here. surprisingly good it's non-token <laughs> it's non-token I guess we can take the Jitte then they kill this in response and we die okay so we're actually this is actually game yeah okay it's not token so that Yep, that sucks. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're dead either way. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. 15% off the first three months of any subscription. 
and I'll see you guys next time.